presenting a space odyssey a story of two friends who have now drifted apart to those who say nothing is worse than cutting ties with your lover clearly you haven't dipped a cookie inside a glass of milk and watched it break in half as it solemnly sinks to the bottom you haven't seen your socks drench and turn moist as you accidentally step on a puddle or you haven't seen your friend transition from someone who was the center of your universe to someone who is now building a solar system of her own where you good sir are not even the asteroid you're more like a comet the trajectory is so elongated you won't cross paths more than once in your lifetimes he fired up his spaceship set a course for mercury but the situation was too hot to handle so he traveled to venus where it literally rains metal its upper atmosphere does have oxygen enough for humans to breathe but his ship couldn't endure the shrapnel of misunderstanding and hurt that poured beneath it he just watched and gritted his teeth mars was phenomenal though there were no aliens but he wasn't alone he was surrounded by clones replicating his own memories with her in the form of every text every call every fight that left him vexed all the times he tried to set things right but didn't know what to do next the thought of what should not have happened made him quiver as he cried himself a river and i don't know if water existed on that planet before that point but even if it did it is proof that even miracles can disappear without giving birth to anything worthwhile thanks to its gravitational pull jupiter keeps thousands of meteorites away from the earth's proximity maybe it doesn't realize not everything that weighs you down is yours to carry regardless a spaceman couldn't ignore its magnanimity if she was jupiter he thought he was europa she has 78 other moons but he was the most popular although nothing lasts forever all things must take flight even your shadow abandons you in the absence of light from contacting each other every day to being just another contact in their phones life had come a full circle they were now on their own he traveled to every other celestial body to find her and make amends but she was light years ahead he had reached a dead end and that's when he stumbled upon pluto so small and distant it's not even considered a planet but nothing else represents the gamut of humanity's sins so accurately recent images reveal that it has a giant frozen lake covered with a layer of poisonous ice in the shape of you guessed it a heart For some this may sound too edgy for some this may be profound for him it was a sign to go home to turn his vessel around when people change we only have two options to either resist it and suppress those feelings inside with frozen nitrogen or to fire up the engines again let go of the burden he activated warp speed covered a distance of a billion kilometers in just a few minutes but down on earth 75 years had already passed by everyone he knew was gone and yet on the outset nothing seemed to have changed it was the same blue planet drifting floating weightless calling him home he learned his lesson that attachments can be brutal especially the ones that lead to silent expectations always live in the moment because it might be the only one you may have with that person thank you